when you are practicing linear algebra exercises, you will encounter every now and then exercises where an additional parameter is involved. Let us call this parameter h in this video. Then you get questions like, for what values of h is the system inconsistent? Or give the echelon form for each value of the parameter h, etc., etc. You have to be really careful in those exercises. Sometimes an entry can be a pivot or not, depending on the specific value of h. In this video, we'll see an example of such an exercise which exhibits all of these features. So, here we have the exercise. Give the echelon form of the following augmented matrix and determine the number of solutions of the corresponding lin linear system for every value of h. So we have our linear system and it looks, well, quite trivial. It seems to be already in echelon form, right? Well, we have to be a bit careful here because do we really have pivots over here and over there? Well, if this value is not equal to zero, we have a pivot. If this value is not equal to zero, we have a pivot. So if h is not plus or minus two, or and if h is not equal to zero, that means we have pivots in every row, so we won't have inconsistent equations. We have a pivot in every column, so we will not have free variables. So that means that the uh, uh, linear system is neither inconsistent nor has an infinite number of solutions. So in that case, the corresponding linear system has one solution. I see you think, yeah, of course, I have a pivot everywhere. The system has always has one solution. Well, let's take a closer look at those other values of h. For example, if you take h equals 2 and just plug in the value of h equals 2 in our augmented matrix, then we get 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, and here 0, 0, 0. And now, all of a sudden, the augmented matrix looks different. Okay, there's still an echelon form, also for h equals 2. However, You've gotten a row with zeros, okay, no problem, but uh, no inconsistencies. We do have a free variable now. So for h equals 2, we see that we have infinitely many solutions because we basically we lost a pivot. For h equals minus 2, just plug in h equals minus 2, we get again a zero over here, so a zero here, a minus 4 there, and a minus 2 over there. So what do we see now? The second row yields 0 times x1 plus 0 times x2 equals minus 4, so 0 equals minus 4. That is not possible, so now the system has no solutions. So for h equals minus 2, the system is inconsistent. Still in echelon form, though. And now we start to wonder, is it a silly question? Give the echelon form of the augmented matrix, it is in echelon form all the time. What a stupid question. Well, let's look at h equals zero. For h equals zero, something special happens. Just plug it in, zero, one, one, zero, minus four, minus two. Now we are over here, and now we are not in echelon form. So the augmented matrix is not in echelon form for h equals zero. And then we have to be really careful. You could say, okay, I have a free variable, so I have an infinite number of solutions. Uh-uh, that's wrong because we are not in echelon form yet. You can only determine the number of solutions of a system if you are in echelon form. Okay, now it's only one step. Just do this one step, you add four times the first row to the second row, and then we are in fact in echelon form. And then you see, oh, but I have zero times x1 plus zero times x2 equals two, so zero equals two. So in fact, the system is inconsistent and we have no solutions in this case. So always if you have uh, such an augmented matrix is a parameter, check where the pivots are, whether you still have pivots, and do all the special cases separately, because then in those special cases something special can arise. 